Welcome back to another episode of No Limit Album Reviews. As you know, uh, you know, this is where we give you the reviews for the No Limit Albums and True Records Albums and Gutter Music Albums and the No Limit Forever Mixtapes. So if it's your first time watching any of my videos, we go over over all the different phases and different stages. Anything to do with the Miller Family, Masterpiece, C-Murder, Silk to Shock, or Romeo, as far as their music, the companies go, we cover it. We give you the review. And today review, it's a special review, man, because this review right here is for an album that came out in 2008. Now think about what album came out from the No Limit Family in 2008. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Yep, you're right. It's your boy. He got released from jail, man. See murder. Ah! Screaming for vengeance. Corey Miller. I got a, uh... Dang, one of my things just came out. The holders for the CD. Um, this album was dropped in 2008, as I stated. 14 tracks. The singles were Be Fresh and Posted on the Block. Um, the weird thing, though, about this was that Posted on the Block remixes on here, but not the original song Posted on the Block. So that kind of threw me off when um, I first bought this album. Quick story before I give y'all the grade for this review. Um, and this will kind of give y'all an idea of what I'm going to grade the album. But um, we got to remember C Murder. Got locked up in 2001. He did time, he did time. He got released in 2008. I believe he was on like an ankle monitor or something like that for a while. And then he ended up going back, which he's still in prison now. And um, But he did release this before he went back. So um, the story is, uh, well, two parts. First part is, I got a few other stories about my personal experience with C-Murder. Uh, I'm going to share those later on future videos. And as for the story as of right now, I was excited when this album came out, man. Because C-Murder, fresh out of jail, I know he coming with that heat, you know what I'm saying? I know he excited to be back. I think right before he dropped this, he was actually on a Ludacris album during the same time. Um, so, I don't remember the song that he did with Luda, but I remember my homeboy telling me, hey man, you know C-Murder out, and he on this new song with Luda on Luda's new album, and you know, he hungry, man, he going in. I said, cool. So when this, when I seen the Be Fresh video, I mean, uh, posting on the block video, you know, you got Snoop Dogg on there, you know what I'm saying, but C-Murder not in the video because of his uh, trial situation, so he couldn't be in the actual video. So it's just people that mess with True Records at the time. Shout out to Tamika. Shout out to uh, G. De Niro, who been holding it down for C-Murder. You know, I mess with them on uh, Instagram. You know, it's just like family. Nothing but love. Big shout out to them. Um, but anyway, I bought the album. I think maybe like a couple days after it released. Listen to it. Listen to it. Listen to it. Listen to it. I wasn't feeling it. So what I did at that time, you know, it was a record store called uh, Underdog Records. So uh, they ain't got record stores out here in the world no more, you know what I'm saying? But back then it was Underdog. That was our little local record store. And uh, they would, you know, sell CDs. So this was the first No Limit True Records affiliated album that I tried to return ever. That's how much I didn't like this. Um, and when I went to return it back to sell it to the record store, he, you know, he did it like this. You know, I gave it to him. He looked it over. He was like, he said, it's a scratch. It's a one little scratch right there. He said, I can't take this. I'm like, what? I just bought this like three weeks ago. And I'm like, you know, I may have listened to it maybe about 20 times, bro, but I just couldn't get into it. So, Screaming for Vengeance. 
Um, I'm sorry, see? You're one of my favorite people in the world, man. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to this rap music, keeping it gutter, keeping it real. But Screaming for Vengeance is like a three. Three out of ten. And that got to be three out of ten. This is worse than Chopper straight from the end, though. Like, and worse not even a word. But that's how unsuccessful this is to my ears. Um, you know, I mean, that's all I got to say about that, man. Uh, so, those of you watching who are thinking about going against Screaming for Vengeance, I mean, if you like me and you want to have a copy disc of all No Limit, True Records, everything dealing with No Limit, Masterpiece, C Murder Silk, Rome, definitely go get it. But this is something that you're not going to play in a car with your homies. Or this is something that you're not just going to be chilling at the crib and you won't say, oh, man, I want to play that Screaming for Vengeance because it just don't work like that. So, 3 out of 10. Not recommended if you're not a true fan of the tank. If you're just somebody who want to know, want to listen to some C-Murder, if this was the first C-Murder album you ever heard, you wouldn't be a C-Murder fan. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about that. One of the songs on the album that's kind of cool is a song called uh, Down South. He did with Slim Thug and CeeLo. And, um,